what is going on YouTube in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can find relevant keywords or blog topics that is going to help you move the needle when it comes to local SEO or your GMB Google business profile SEO some of these uh, strategies is what I primarily use for our clients so I'm going to show you how you can actually find these topics one way is paid you're going to need to use a paid tool which is SEMrush um, which I will have a link where you can get a seven day free trial in the description below. Um, just make sure you do cancel it in time if you don't want to continue using it. But I think it's a great tool. I personally use it um, pretty much every day for what we do with our clients. And the other uh, free way I'm going to be showing you um, is a little secret hack on how to find these geo relevant topics from your competition. So Make sure you watch the end of this video so you can get those nuggets there. Um, so let me just show you real quick. So this is some of the progress we did um, with the electrician here. You can see electrician Allentown, which is a city. You can see this was his rankings before, um, and these are his rankings now. So you can see a pretty, pretty uh, significant increase in rankings there, um, almost green across the entire board so these strategies work so make sure you guys begin to implement them so what i mean by getting keywords from blog topics well blog topics is what is going to help push up that relevancy that google is looking for so if you just have a one page three page website it's really not going to get you anywhere because google isn't going to deem you relevant to your industry and even less to your geo location we need to make sure that we're pushing up those relevancy signals and getting relevant content is going to help you accomplish that. Um, so you can see these are some of the blog posts that we've done for the client here. Um, and it's basically just, you know, popular questions that people search for. It, this can work for whatever industry you're in. Um, you know, even if you're a tax accountant, you know, attorney, obviously electrician, any home service, even companies that is not a home service, um, this strategy can work the same. So basically the first uh, tool that I use is SEMrush. Um, and like I said, this tool I use on a pretty much daily basis in terms of competitor research, keyword research, backlink research. Um, so I really, really like this tool. But basically if you go here and you go to the keyword magic tool section, um, here this is where we can actually do a search um, which is going to allow us to find relevant que uh, relevant questions about that specific keyword. So if I just go in here, and for this example, I'll just continue with the electrician. Um, so if we do, and I can't even spell here, uh, electrician, and then click search. Actually, I have to go to the keyword overview, I believe. So let's go, yeah, so keyword overview type in your keyword, click search, and now it's gonna give you this data, right? The overall search volume, keyword difficulty, global volume, we don't really care about that, but where we wanna go is this question section. We wanna find these questions because this, these are the questions we wanna use for our blogs. Then we go to view all keywords. Now this is going to pull up all of the keywords that SEMrush is finding about this specific keyword. What I really like about SEMrush is that it actually categorizes um, specific questions. So you can actually find uh, groups or clusters of questions that are going to be um, somewhat related, right? So if we go here and we go down to, uh, let's see if we can find something. Let's see, qualifying, light, earnings. Out. Okay, so let's say we want to um, focus around keywords related to outlets, like outlet repair, um, something along those lines, which is going to be important for an electrician. So if we click on outlet, now it's going to show us these questions that have the word outlet in it. So this is great whenever you're coming up. Um, if you watched my previous video, whenever you're trying to silo out your blog posts, which I highly recommend you guys to check out, this is going to be very important because you're going to be able to find relevant topics which you can silo out very easily and uh, as you can see you know all these questions include the word outlet 
how much for electrician to install outlet, right? That would be a great blog post to have. Do you need a licensed electrician to replace an outlet? Let's see. Some of these are kind of repetitive. Can an electrician install a cable outlet? But what I like to do to make sure we get even easier topics to rank is you just go over to the keyword difficulty section and just click on it. Then we'll click on it again and it's going to filter by keyword difficulty. Um, so this is going to, so you're going to start with the uh, question that's the easiest to rank for and then it's going to go down to the hardest, right? And we want to focus on the easiest ones here. So these three right here, um, we would want to focus on, right? And then try to see if we can find any other ones. Um, even if they don't have any search volume, it can still help push your relevancy. So I wouldn't be discouraged if it doesn't have any data. A lot of the times these keyword tools um, just aren't able to get every single uh, keywords data, um, right? It's just not possible. Um, but I would still, uh, you know, go after these keywords, even if they're not showing much data, because it's still going to help with your relevancy. Um, so that's one way to do it here. Let's do another keyword. Let's do, uh, let's try electrical repair. See if we get anything with that keyword, electrical repair. All right, so you don't always have to, you know, use the, the group feature here. Um, sometimes you can just get some good general ones here. For an example, if you just wanted to push your relevancy up for um, something more general like electrical repairs, um, you can do that as well. Same thing here, we already filtered by keyword difficulty. So you can see this first question um, has a keyword difficulty of six. And if we hover over it, it lets you know it's very easy. Um, it even tells you your chance to start ranking new pages is very easy, right? Um, and that's what we want to go for because not only will we be pushing up our relevancy, but we'll also be able to rank for it, which is going to be driving traffic to the website, which is always helpful. So um, let's see here. Let's get a good one. How to repair electric meter box. You know, that would be something good. How to repair motorcycle electric starter. That probably won't be relevant to a, a residential electrician. Uh, let's see here. How to repair electric stove, um, how to repair cut electrical wire. So that would be a good one. Uh, how to repair cut electrical cable. So this is a very easy way to find relevant questions um, that you can use, right? Same strategies can apply to any industry. And really all you have to do is kind of uh, continue uh, playing with different keywords that you want to rank for. Um, for an example, you know, one of the services would be, you know, lighting installation. So let's see if we can find anything related to lighting installation. So we'll do a search for that. All right, so it says how to install Sambo LED lights. So I guess that's the type of lights, how to install lights in the conservatory that is not relevant. Uh, let's see, this carpet, how to install visor lights. So you're going to have to kind of play with this um, but again, you can always go the more general approach and just do the main category, which is what I would start with. Um, I would probably do a search for your GMB's main category and try to find relevant questions about that. And then apply the same strategies that I cover in the previous video, um, which I'll have that in the description. So this is the first topic, the first strategy, I mean, on how to find relevant questions that's going to help push your local rankings. Um, now, this approach is creating more general content, which is going to help push up your relevancy. But on the other side of things, I always like to incorporate geo-specific content, which is also going to help push up the, those GMBs and your websites. And this is going to be a quick trick that you guys can utilize, and same thing can apply to any industry. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go over to Google um, and usually, usually I like to search for something that starts with how to, um, for an example, to keep this same um, example going, I use the electrician. So I use, I typed in how to choose electrician Dallas, right? You can do how to choose a electrician in Dallas. doesn't really matter. You're going to get pretty much the same search results. 
But if this was a plumber, you can do how to choose a plumber in Dallas, how to choose a roofer in Dallas. Anything along those lines is typically going to pull up competitors that are using geo-specific content um, to help push up the rankings. So typically when you find one of these blogs, um, typically you can find a lot more. So that's just a little nugget there. So I'm going to show you, show you guys um, one that I found. So again, I did how to choose an electrician Dallas, um, and right away the first uh, you know position under the under the snippet um, is this website right here, and they wrote a blog post on tips for choosing a good Dallas electrician. So notice how they're incorporating one relevancy of their main category or keyword was which is electrician and two they're also adding that geo modifier so they're adding dallas electrician and this is a blog post right this isn't a service page it's not the home page this is a blog post that they're utilizing to help increase those relevancy signals so let's go ahead and click on it and i'm pretty sure um Typically, once you find one of these, typically that same website or competitor is going to have a lot more of these type of blog posts. So if we scroll down here, we can actually take a look at what they're doing. So you can see they have an inner link here going to the homepage with the exact anchor, which is Dallas Electrician, which is looks like that's pretty much the keyword these guys are trying to target. Um, so they're interlinking to the homepage. Let's see if they're doing any other um, on page here another link to the home page uh, which i typically wouldn't do um so let's see dallas so it looks like they're linking to a this is like a uh visit dallas.com so it's like a attraction website type thing so they're trying to further increase their relevancy by external linking to local websites local resources um, but they don't really have anything else going on. Like they're not linking to their GMB. They're not linking to any service pages, which is um, something these guys are lacking in. It doesn't look like they're siloing their blog posts at all. Um, so that's one thing that I did notice. But point is the way these guys are utilizing their blog posts to not only push their uh, industry relevancy, but also their geo relevancy. And what do you know? If you go to the recent post section over here, you can see they have a bunch of other blog posts that are also incorporating their geo location. Get the best Dallas electrician to repair and install wiring. What consumes the most electricity in our homes? A Dallas local electrician. Oh, Dallas local electrician. That was just a little line there. Nine times you need to call an electrician in Dallas. So you can see how these guys are utilizing um, this strategy, which I advise any local business to utilize, is to create um, or to have a good mixture of just general blog posts that are going to serve a purpose for ranking. And then I also like to incorporate these blog posts, which are more or so geo-specific, because both of those together are really going to help move the needle um, when it comes to your local rankings, GMB rankings. And again, if you want to learn how to use uh, blog posts much better than these guys are doing um, to get even better rankings, check out my previous video where I lay out the entire structure of the actual website and how to structure out your blog posts to get the best out of it. So that's it for this strategy, guys. Hope you guys learned something. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy holidays. Hope everyone has a blessed Christmas. See you guys later.